The Yankees not losing a streak series is over. They lose to Toronto for the second time in this three-game series here today. And a very, very big disappointment, considering that they were going up against somebody who was making their major league debut. And great for Alex Manoa. Really happy for him that in his first game, he performed so well against the greatest franchise in baseball's history and one of the best teams in baseball. So good for him. But as a Yankee fan, man, it was painful watching this today. I mean, it was like they were going up against Bob Gibson in his prime. I mean, everybody, thank God for Andujar. We would have had, we would have gotten no hit today if it wasn't for Andujar's a brilliant day at the plate. And by brilliant day, I mean two hits, um, not even an RBI. Uh, just, just bad performance there. I don't want to get on Herman too much, even though Herman did give up two home runs in the third, uh, home run to Semi and the home run to Bichette, back-to-back home runs. I think that's the first time the Yankees have given up back-to-back home runs this season. But look, if the Yankees' offense isn't hitting, then what is Herman supposed to do? So, yeah, it would have been nice if Herman had gone uh, tit for tat with uh, Manoa, but you know, again, the Yankees' offense couldn't do anything. So it's it's hard to say, hey, don't make a mistake out there. Made two mistakes, it cost them. Um, just a, a real solid performance outside of that third inning. I thought, I thought other than that, I thought he had a really, really great uh, time out there. Just, it's just a, unfortunate the Yankees couldn't hit. DJ, Odor, Judge, Torres, Ford, Frazier, Gardner, Higgy, just nothing from the Yankees in this game. And even the few times where we had runners on, we couldn't really do anything about it. I think we left, what, four runners on base? Um, I'm trying to look for it here. Bottom of the first, DJ walks, and then it's one, two, three after that. And Duhar gets a single in the second. Uh, Gardner grounds out to, uh, to second. And then in the fifth, and Duhar gets a single. Back-to-back strikeouts for Gardner and Nagashioka. And then in the seventh, Odar walks one out, and then it's Judge fly out the center, and Torres grounds out to short. So the Yankees offense had a just bad, bad outing. It is disappointing that the series streak is over. It was going to end eventually. But here was your chance. The Yankees had a chance to take back the American League East lead in this series. And they couldn't do it. Two bad losses in a row. At least we have hopefully one more game tonight to maybe get one win in this series. Maybe finally get a win in this in this important series. But just a bummer to watch. It's a bummer game. Disappointing game. The, the offense. And yeah, I know it's going to be tough now with... The last few days have already been tough with yesterday we finding out about Voight um, being sent down again, which is such a bummer with his injuries. And then Kluber being out for, what, a month? So yeah, the Yankees injury bug, it's finally come back to haunt them here. But I was hoping the offense would be able to break out of it. Couldn't do it today. Now the Yankees dropped 28 and 21. I mean, they're still, you know, near the top in the American League East. They're still only two and a half back, but just a bummer there. And let's try to get a win tonight. Let's try to put the rest of these last two games behind us. Try to get a win here tonight and at least try to make some good out of the series. Look, I know Yankee fans have been feeling a little disappointed after this game, after this series. So let me leave you with something maybe to laugh at. This horrible, horrible Pirates play that happened earlier today. And just say, at least we're not the Pirates. That's it for now, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back later tonight with a recap to the second game between the Yankees and the Blue Jays. Take care and God bless.